Bless your heart. Are you filming? Yeah, Go but ahead. you can come in. Okay. They don't care. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey. No, we're he's, not. He's being serious. Oh. Yeah, I was. Come we on. are just getting started, but. Okay, she said you'd pause, so that I was, that's why. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, you're fine. I can to get you that. believe the audacity? I know. I so, mean, it's not like we're doing anything here. So rude. Gee whiz. So rude. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> she knows I was kidding, right? Yes. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, 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 Sledging, sledging sounds like it has something to do with the batsman, and maybe it has to do with digging the ball out of the dirt, like a, a ball that's down really, really low, and you have to yeah. sledge it. So this person says, "I have no idea." Sledging is a practice of verbally or physically in, in, intimidating the opponent's team's players. When sledging backfires, it's fun to watch. Uh, so it's, I guess, so it's trash talk. Trash talk. I don't know why they call it sledging. Why do they call it sledging? Because that's in American sports. It doesn't matter which sport it is. That's called trash talk. I mean, yeah, you talk trash in every every sport, but especially in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Patton's in the every play. So this is going to show some highlights, but also I think kind of explain it to us. Of, uh, I hope we get some. So we're going to learn subs. a little more. Uh, I think it's in English. Uh, so we're going to learn a little more about cricket because obviously there's still stuff we don't know. Clearly. <laughs> Uh, an entire verbiage that's apparently enough for compilations. Sledging. Sledging. You learn something new every day. Hey, I hate you. Sledged. <laughs> Hashtag sledged. Looks like Vicky. We all know that cricket is a gentleman's game. But there are some instances where opponents sledge each other and make sure the other person loses all its focus from the game. However, as an audience, there is nothing more satisfying than seeing a player so like, in revenge. When somebody's up to bat and the catcher is... Yeah, I have that Rod Stewart... So with that uh, Rod, said, Rod here Carew we are story. with a list of top 10 famous reply to sledging in cricket history. Number 10, Brian Lara versus Danish Kalu. Just total domination. After bowling a ball, the spinner said, then play high. Lara later destroyed the spinner by hitting three sixes in a row. <laughs> gotcha. So somebody talked oh, smack, and then he literally hit three sixes. That's always satisfying. That's very satisfying. It really was a half trigger. Sledged. Consider yourself <laughs> sledged. There's another one. This so I guess it's their, their term for before. trash talk. Yeah. How big was that? I think I heard v Rock Coley is a big trailer. trash talker. Really? I think so. Really another master for this. Dang! He's not finished yet. Another glorious one. That's quite sweat. a hit. A unbelievable hitting from Brian Lara. 56 from 28 balls against Canaria. Canaria is being slaughtered out there. Dang. The heat wins reply to break me sledging. Good job, sir. And the blast can play in the air. And the negation. We will have to accept that. What just happened? In the game. We just got up in his face. Of, uh, but what did he say? Both teams. This guy can't have to hold his nerves. Now it's India. to the moment few words will be exchanged. I love you. <laughs> Explain it to me, what happened? Dinner's at nine. It's not a very fast stretch. Now he's gonna go up his nose. So he, I guess he just got in his face. 
sledged him, and now he's going to sledge him. And that's the sledge hammer. Gotcha. So he got in his face, probably said, you suck. Your mother. Your mother. And then he got a six on him. And then he said, suck on that sledge monger. Is there something of like the, the, the person that's behind the batter? Talking smack to the batter, right, right? Like a catcher in baseball. I love those moments where they're yeah. just talking like. There's some fights that break out just because of the trash talking. And how often does that happen? You get in all out fights like bench clearing brawls like we do in baseball? No, it's a gentleman's game. Jack Butler told Sheldon Cottrell. When Butler sent a ball from Cottrell into the stands and responded to Cottrell's trademark signal. Putting the world record, a salute ah. to Butler towards Shelly Cutler as well. Uh, is he, is he going to give him a little chin music? Brilliant for is he going to throw in his head? So I'm guessing that's this other person's... What, he, what he does? I don't know. All the ballers in the world is get up and say, ah, there you are. During a test match between India and Australia, Shane Watson began sledging Gumbi from the start of the game. Also, Gumbi did not hold himself back and replied back in his time. You hit like my mom! ...about Watson's reaction, that he's not happy that Garden Gumbi had made that little move down the pitch at him. He can more than 141 kids for Tomilo just to stop. He called timeout as he was coming in. Should get two. If not more. The umpire, Gambia, just... <laughs> Rock right by him. <laughs> <laughs> I love good competition. Where are the award words exchanged? I want to see the competition where they're like cussing at each other. <laughs> That's what I want. That's the kind of sledging I want. One sent to Pavilion by Henry Olonga for only 11 runs. After the match, Olonga said that he knows how to get Tendulkar out. Sachin! Sachin said nothing but took his revenge two days later in the final of Coca-Cola Champions Trophy in 1998. Yeah, that, that's always the best, when, the, when they get revenge on the player by doing either like they were thrown at and then their next is bat to get a home run. And Sachin was like famous for that. He's like, he didn't really talk. I, this is the vibe I think I've gotten is that he doesn't do a lot of talking, but he'll, he lets like, his playing do the talking. Yeah, yeah. Is that still considered sledging if it's like two days later? I'm still confused by the term, me too. Sachin dispatched almost every delivery of Olunga for a 4 or 6 and he eventually scored a century. Nobody's reply to abusing a free game. Today, I'm cooking into the advertising holdings. When Nobody hit Akriti for a beautiful inside out shot, Akriti started abusing him. However, in return, Loni just smiled and in the very next ball, again hits a for a six. Okay. Okay. What happened? I guess he hit it. I didn't catch that one. And the bowler starts trash talking him. Once again in the air. So he trash talked and then he hit a six. And it's got the distance as well. You don't want to trash shock Johnny. So Tony joining Sehwag in the party. And the 50 runs partnership comes up. Boxers do that and a lot too. Balls. Yeah. A lot of trash talking in the ring. Well, the heat is on. Free fight too. He's too. But they are turning it on for India and also for the spectators. Back Number when McGregor was good, he was Sehwag good at doing that. <laughs> Oh, did he just hit him? Mohammed Sami was continuously staring at Sehwag after every ball he bowled. Sehwag then replied with a fierce square cut. Nothing wrong in that. Sammy goes so, sledging is essentially like a clap back. Like, I guess something so. happens Sehwag and then they do it with their... I thought it was more of like a clever replies or like... 
Yeah, other those compilations of just. So fuck your mother. Jabber back in there. <laughs> <laughs> those, those are the ones I want. A little altercation, or should we say, a few pleasantries exchanged between Shrey Bhaktar and Harbhajan Singh. The discussion took place, or the language. Fight him! Was, uh, Fight him! <laughs> Are they mic'd? And both stood the ground. They should be. They should, should be mic'd. Translate uh, what was said. I wish we could hear this or at least to translate get subs. And there it is. That's a good one. So I guess sledging, it, it seems, is the revenge, revenge. You get by performing rather than talking. Yeah. So someone stares at you or says crap at you, and then you're like, oh yeah? Boom. So essentially it'd be like a wide achiever, cornerback. Cornerback's talking trash. Does all this? He's like, yeah, I got you. The next, very next play, he gets a touchdown. Yeah, or exactly, or a pitcher who's bad mouthing the guy at the plate, talking to him, and he's got a no two count. And he says, yeah, you suck. You're out this next pitch, and then he hits a home run. Home run. Let me get something like this. Just put their name. Dominic Cork. England's fast bowler Dominic Cork was seen giving a stare to Rahul Dravid after his ball in follow through. Don't stare at me, bro. <laughs> you ever had all vacations like that in sports? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And that's usually what it is. It's what are you looking at? What are you staring at? I was actually. Great shot from Then you got another slightly shorter half tracker, which. That's a fantastic shot. Well. Where's well, the boxing contest? I'd be throwing in a towel. Same to my man before. Get out of there quick. My ball wide. Wide enough to do so, but no. Show you the silver decides. Enough is enough. He's not going to roll straight. We're not going to get more boundaries. We're not going to get any more entertainment. The number one in this list has to be Gangli's shortlist revenge against England. Andrew Fleno celebrated the victory in Mankhede Stadium, Mumbai, by waving his T-shirt on the ground. Clint Doff takes his shirt off. As you would expect, England have won the fifth. Saurav Ganguly was not happy by his celebration style. Then in 2002, Michael Series final, India won the match and Ganguly waved his T-shirt from the Lord's back. Gotcha. So even if it's like not a direct right after, it's like Ocho Cinco we hope took a like crap it. on the right, uh, made a movement when he did something. I forget what it was. Uh, he was a very eccentric wide receiver for many teams, uh, but a good wide receiver. But he like pulled down his pants and pretended to take a crap on on the the Cowboys logo. Right. And then so essentially it'd be like somebody that next season. Taking a crap on his face. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or this will happen. It's happened from seasons, and it also happens where you'll have the Yankees and the Red Sox play each other, right? And a, a, a Red Sox pitcher hits a Yankee in uh, the last game of the series. And then a month later, they're playing they're in Boston. They're going to hit him. And the very first time he comes to the plate, a Yankee hits a yeah, Red Sox. Absolutely. Yeah, and then the bench is clear. And so, yeah. I want to see the compilations of the... Arguing, and I do too. I want to hear the cursing. Words. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. So if there's those, you can set it. Because yeah, when when I was playing uh, sports, I was I'm a very competitive person. Still really, am, obviously. But uh, also, my stepdad, who was uh, on the junior Olympic team for the United States for uh, soccer, uh, so he's he's a very good soccer player. And but he's who I learned from, and and he <laughs> he was taught a very aggressive style of play. So, like, obviously, if you're trying to get the ball, I'm I'm, I'm very aggressive with my right. shoulder. You can't pull pull up. Like, this is a foul if you pull up your shoulder at all. But you can, like, ram and stuff like that. Right. Or my favorite is when somebody's throwing the ball in and, and you go up and you try to head it to catch it. Uh-huh. <laughs> if I can't get it, 
the person next to you is jumping, you grab their shorts. <laughs> <laughs> So their pants come down, and so you can get the ball and go. Uh, sometimes I'm not the cleanest player. Uh, <laughs> but it's more fun that way. Uh, but yeah, so I, I love that kind of stuff. I have no issue with, like, obviously sportsmanship is, is good, but competitiveness is also... Sure is. Obviously, don't be dirty in terms no, no, of, no. like, there's, yeah, like, certain NFL dirty. players of, like, stomping on people's legs and not that kind of stuff. No. But the friendly competition, I'm all for. Absolutely. <laughs> I love... When, when players who are going at it, the best of the best, uh, and also can be a little aggressive at times. I have, I have no, and I love trash talk. Yeah, and a lot of the major sports will do highlight reels, and you'll hear the trash talk that's coming off of the NBA court, the NFL field, baseball, Major League Baseball does it, uh, tennis does it. Yeah. Uh, I think the one sport you really don't get it in is golf. No. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of that in golf. Yeah, it's a pretty different, uh, pretty different uh, sport. sport. Uh, and it's big time in MMA. Yeah. So that's, I thought that's, but I still don't know, is sledging definitively a way of getting revenge through your activities your on the play? That's what it seems like. I think that's Even if it's not in the same game, apparently. Right. It's, if this person did this two years later, they're going to do this to get revenge at that team for, for what they did. Got it. Um, so, but if there's other uh, compilations of like, altercations or good smack talk. I think yeah. I've heard Virat Kohli is a good smack talker. I want to hear that. Uh, I do love... <laughs> go, go, mother. Yeah, I want to hear that. I love that good stuff. Fight. Uh, that's always good for me. So let us know what other uh, cricket videos we should watch down below. Happy sledging! Don't <laughs> <laughs>